Hello viewers, this is Ayana Jayabhavan. In this video, we are going to talk about change detection strategy in Angular application. For example, if we have an app component and the app component may have multiple child component and then another ch that child component will have another child component. So if any changes happened in parent component, what Angular will do? Angular will traverse all the component that is in the child and update the DOM. So if you have a multiple doses of child components, what will happen? You can see that one. So it has to go, it traverse all the thousand components and update the DOM. Traversing and updating the entire you know component DOM is heavy process. It will affect the performance of the application. Okay. Now we will see that one how by default Angular behaves in change detection and how we are going to solve that problem. Let's get into the implementation now. Before getting into the code, let's see. So consider you have an Angular application. This is your app component. And this app component having the three child component. This component one having two child, okay. So if I, have, if I make any changes in this component one, what will happen? It will traverse all the child component and update the DOM. Okay, so this is what I have been saying that one if it is having you know thousands of child component, it will go and have you know traverse and update the DOM. So it is you know definitely it will impact your Angular application. So let's see how Angular works in the code. Let me create one Angular application now. I'm just routing through and by default style mode is CSS mode. I'm just creating. Now application is created. Let's get into the code now. I'm just opening the VS Code editor. Let me open the terminal. Okay, let me run the application and let me open another terminal. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, uh, let me create a one component. So I will create one component called first child. ng generation c component first child let me create a, another component called second child two child component is created so let me go to that app dot component html so what I'm going to do, let me remove everything, even I'm commenting the router outlet. So what I'm going to do, let me open a first child component and the second child component. So let me refer this first child component in my app component. and inside a first child component let me refer the second child component okay let's see how it's running Okay, it's loading both first child and second child right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do in the parent component, 
app component let me have a course object okay id equal to one and the name equal to angular price equal to two thousand okay i'm going to pass this to first child component as a input course i'm going to pass the input to this one and in the first child i'm going to get that course object as an input course training and let me display this course one in the here name and post dot price okay so let's see how it's displaying right now okay it's displaying the first component with the cost details okay now let me create here one button in the app component change course name okay and uh, in the click event i'm going to call one function called change course name so i'm going to here i'm going to create a function in the component ds5 what i'm going to do here i'm going to change my course name equal to dot net okay so what will happen whenever i'm clicking this button so my course name will get changed which in turn it will pass the details to the first child so first child will re-render with the changes let's see okay by default it's having course of angular so what i'm going to do now let me change the course name to dot net you see here it's not and it's changed why because i'm just changing the one of the property in the course i'm changing that one so any changes in the course object it will get affected in all the child components okay so what will happen it will go to the first component and it will go re-render that one and since we have referred this another child component the first child so this will go to another second child this way this complete tree will get a re-render okay so this is completely you know if you have more than if you have a number of child component you know it will affect your performance so what you can do you can instruct the angular okay to work for change detection only if there is any references changes here okay here if you see that one i am not changing the reference and inside same reference i am just changing the one of the property in that reference i am not changing the entire reference but i can inform to angular you know just to re-render this component, first child component, only if my course references got changed. Okay, how can I instruct? For example, I can say change detection strategy. Strategy dot on push. By default, it's a default is a one on push is a one it will we are that, that we are instructing the angular you know so 
to detect only if there is any changes in the reference okay let's see now i am going to run the application again now i am change the course name if you see that one it won't reflect here because i am changing the only the name not the complete reference of you know course object okay since i am not changing the reference it won't change here okay so in that way you know the um, you will have better performance how can but if you want to make a change okay through reference change how can you do that one if you go in the first component instead of changing the name just to clone this course object okay for example constant c equal to using the spread operator i can clone the course object and just having name change to react okay and then this dot course equal to c if you see that one i'm just assigning the different references to this course okay since i am assigning the different reference that angular will see here if reference is got changed here if it is reference got changed it will re-render this component okay let's see how it works now here i'm going to change now change the reference excellent now if you see that one it's got changed since we are changing the reference of the course object okay we can further improve the performance of the angular application by means of observables okay let's see the first child component i am just making this as a observable okay i am just changing to observable course I'm having another one called here course. Here I can subscribe subscribe to this observable. In the subscribe callback function, let me just log whether it is calling or not subscription subscription call and here I am going to change underscore course equal to a new data okay so here instead of here in the first child I'm going to use course. Okay. Now, in the parent component, I have to pass the observable. How can I pass observable? I can use a subject. Okay. Here, what I will use, I can use course subject. I will use a behavior subject. I'm just declaring behavior behavior subject and passing the default value of this course okay I am passing so what I am going to do here in this subject if I whenever clicking this change course name I'm just going to pass a new value here I'm not changing the reference I'm just changing the object in name I'm just passing the new that object change course name change subject so here in my app component, I have to pass a course subject. 
okay i'm passing the first subject so let me run the application now by default it's showing us angular let me change to subscription card okay so i am passing the value new value to the subject observable but it is not affecting but it is not affecting why since here if you see that one we are just you know updating the data okay we are not informing to the angular please you know it's this got this component got dirty please you know re-render this component how can you say that we can see using the change detection reference so let me inject that to change detector reference to that i can say okay mark for check okay if i'm saying mark for check if i'm running again if you see that one now it's changing okay so because we are instructing the angular to re-render this one by means of change detector reference and calling the mark for check okay we can do it another way without using this change detector reference let me comment and in the html what you can do you can use it you know as sync operator ng if course so this will get called whenever the subscriptions got called whenever subscription got called okay now let's see i'm just commented here mark for reference Let me change here. Let me call excellent. Okay. So there are two ways. One is using the async, another way is you know change detector reference and calling the mark for check function, which will make to re-render this component. Okay. This is a way we can improve our Angular application. Okay. If your application is like a you know enterprise application having you know lots of component you have to follow this change detection strategy okay by default this is a default one you know default one but you can use this on push and you can instruct the angular to make a re-render of this component by means of observable okay or do the reference change hope you understand what is change reduction strategy in angular Please subscribe if you would like to see more tech videos like this. Thank you.